Hey everyone, this is Ty Sanda. I am a former University of Akron men's soccer player from the years 2013 to 2016. I am now entering into my fourth year and final year of medical school at Wright State University in Dayton, Ohio. Um, this upcoming year I'll be applying into the field of orthopedic surgery. Um, so I was asked to make this video to kind of talk about what drew me into the healthcare field and what's going on in the healthcare field and what we can kind of all do to help uh, help everyone stay safe and be healthy during this time. So I guess I'll start with what drew me into the medical field. Um, like many athletes, uh, playing sports sometimes unfortunately ends up resulting in injuries and, and whether these injuries are small or big, um, we all end up seeing someone in the healthcare profession, whether it's a, a doctor, a physical therapist, a trainer. Um, and, and during my time playing, I definitely had a fair few amount of injuries, but fortunately enough, I was able to really work with some pretty amazing doctors and trainers and uh, therapists to kind of get me back to doing what I love and playing again. And since then, it's it's always kind of been a goal of mine to pay it forward and, and do something similar to those, to someone um, in kind of the way that I was helped. I also love the medical field because it's constantly evolving, it's constantly changing, so there's really no standstill. Um, there's always going to be a drive to learn more or learn how to do something better. So I'll kind of just chat a little bit about what's going on in the medical field currently. Um, it's a pretty hectic time in the hospitals right now with the shortages of personal protective equipment, medical supplies, and, and medications. Um, with all that kind of being said, medical students have actually been pulled from all hospitals. And, and this was done for probably two reasons. One, because there's a shortage, shortage of equipment. And two, just because they want to keep us safe and they want to keep the people that we interact with, our loved ones, all safe as well. Um, and, and just trying to stop the spread of the virus as much as they can. So for the time being, we've kind of been asked as medical students to be advocates for our friends and loved ones and anyone we really know and kind of educate on how to stay safe, the importance of following all these new rules that may seem crazy at the time, um, and just making sure that we, we're doing our best to kind of limit the spread of this, this virus. So I guess I'll just touch about a few things that we can all kind of do to make sure we are staying safe. Um, first of all, as wild as it may seem, it is extremely important to keep following the rules of social distancing and making sure we're, we're really kind of isolating at this point just to, just to keep us safe and keep others safe as well. Um, next, and probably one of the more important things, is just practicing good hand hygiene. Um, washing your hands whenever you can and just making sure you're, you're doing it, especially when you have any interactions with people, like you're going to a store, going to the grocery store, anything like that. Um, and lastly, um, we, we want to make sure we're kind of always doing our best to stay as healthy as possible and, and just making sure our immune system is, is at its top level. So whether that's getting outside and going for a walk or a run or just making sure you're kind of working out and kind of doing all that stuff, I think that's one of the more important things we can do to just stay safe. Um, lastly, just if you're, if you're really, really trying to help out with kind of the situation and everything going on, there's a ton of good companies and local organizations that are working extremely hard to try and keep the medical professionals safe and the healthcare workers all safe um, by collecting supplies, collecting health equipment, and anything like that. So you can always volunteer your time or, or donations to these organizations to kind of bring bring some more more aid to the people who are really on the front lines fighting this thing. Um, so that's about everything I got. I hope everyone's enjoying the nice weather we're having right now, and uh, stay safe.